and scientists have discovered the ninth planet in the solar system, your mom. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to create lip sync like this in Cinema 4D. Okay, so here's my scene with this guy uh, who is a newscaster telling a hilarious joke. And let's say you want to take his head and let you want to make it move uh, to the audio. Okay, so what you could do is you could take this audio here and you could drag it in. No, that's not right. You can search for the sound, sound here, click enter, and then click on here and load sound, and then uh, click on the, your sound. Sound, which is, in my case, is the audio of this joke. And now, mm, if you move this, this is basically the part which is gonna uh, determine which part of the sound is being used. So I am going to put it over here I've because the this is the place where the voice is kind of the most, um, it looks, it looks like planet in the solar system, your mom. If you look at the, the spectrogram here, you can see that it's, it's like moving uh, similar to what a mouth would move. So I'm gonna do it here, I'm gonna leave it here you can try it in all sorts of pla places uh, because depending on your voice it's gonna be the results are gonna look different so basically what I'm saying is just experiment with moving um, this box here around so now the first way Sign. how to do this would be you can search for this cappuccino here and you can click start real time no you have to select the head first and then you click start real time and then once you move it it's gonna record but the problem is of course is first of all you can't hear the sound sometimes you can sometimes you can't cinema 4d please please fix this uh, i would be eternally eternally grateful if you did and of course it's a bit hard to um you know and just really uh, do it with your hand as good as when you do it uh, if, if the Cinema 4D does it for you, okay? Now the solution here is really really simple. I'm gonna delete these keyframes here. I have my sound here and I'm gonna search for Expresso. I'm gonna um, click enter and this is going to be applied to the cylinder which is my head, okay? I'm gonna move this back to zero and this is going to be really easy. So the first thing, you simply take the sound, you drag it in. Then you take the cylinder and drag it in. Put it all on the right side and sound on the left side. Now search for sample. Again, I don't know why this is needed, but I know it is. So just, you know, if someone knows why this is uh, necessary, then please explain it to me. If not, whatever. Next, I will take a range mapper. Now this, I think, is not 100% necessary, but in most cases it is. I will show you why in a moment. Okay, so the sound needs to be... Uh, you have to click on this red part here and search for object and place this object in the effector here. And now here you have to search for the strength and again you have to connect this to input and this range mapper output to the here and in my case I know that it's the rotation and it's it's the rotation B in your case it could be whatever it could be position it could be any other uh, type of um, value okay so I'm gonna select this one and if I play the animation covered as oh I think I uh, messed it up here now if you play the animation Scientist. you see it doesn't work and you're saying, well, Mr. Anderson, I didn't come to this tutorial to see something not work. Okay, okay, fair enough. What I have discovered, and again, Cinema 4D, please fix this. And uh, again, if you know why this is, and why, uh, and if there's a better way, please tell it to me. But I have discovered that you have to add a field to this. And I do it simply by typing in, for example, linear field and holding down shift and enter. And now, as you can see, covered it the works. Ninth planet in the so and again, you might say, well, Mr. Anderson, I didn't ask you to show me how this mouth is going on inside of him and basically not working again. 
Well, fair enough again. This is where the range map mapper comes in. Okay, so I'm not going to be to able to explain to you how these work, but I know for a fact that if, for example, you know that your the mouth is supposed to go up, not down in this case, you can very simply change this, this one, output upper, to minus one. And as you can see... The ninth planet in the solar. Now it works. And it, you might be thinking, well, uh, he's opening his head too much. Well, you can fix this by changing this to uh, 0 0.5, for example. Or mom. Okay? And that's it. That's how simple it is. If you have any comments or explanations on how this works, please write them in the comments. I'm going to learn. And, you know, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.